The quarter diplomat was eagerly awaiting the human diplomat. This elusive species that until now had only sent drones and droids as their emissaries. Finally, they were to meet face to face. This advanced civilization had travelled over a thousand light years to finally meet up with them. But Ta was standing in front of the Kunza, the Mafigan, Sanada, and many more species to greet the humans. Finally, they would be able to see how these humans really looked. They knew they were bipedal and had two arms, no tails or horns. It made him curious as to their appearance. Would they have feathers, fur, scales? What colour would they be? Most species were bright colours, or patterns, that made them easy to spot in the crowd. The translator program had worked overtime to add the human language into its program. The human shuttle, a bright white egg-shaped craft, set down in the landing pad. There was no sign of any engines or windows, and the ship just hovered about a metre off the ground. Then a door formed, and a metallic liquid formed a set of stairs. These humans had clearly mastered propulsion, gravity and nanotechnology. What other wonders would they bring? Butta waited eagerly as the door suddenly separated, and two bipedal beings in long white robes and a helmet with no visors or slits came into view. One was slightly bigger and muscular than the other, the bigger being about two metres tall, and the other perhaps twenty centimetres shorter, but moved much more gracefully as the beings walked down the stairs towards them. When they stopped in front of him, they bowed, then the bigger one spoke. We apologise for our helmets, just checking if the air is comparable, and it turns out it is. As he said the last words, the helmet simply melted away, revealing a blonde man with blue eyes and shiny white teeth. The other was clearly a woman with chocolate dark skin, beautiful brown eyes and long black wavily hair. Her bright smile was friendly as she addressed Butta. On behalf of the Human Alliance, I offer our hand in friendship and hoping this day will be the start of a beautiful and prosperous friendship for both of us. Butta took an unwilling step back trying his best not to run away in panic. He could hear some of his colleagues letting out sounds of distress. Both his hearts were racing, but he quickly calmed himself. This had to be a joke. Yes, it must be a joke. Wow, who's the jokester who made this happen? He turned to his colleagues. Was it you, Shazaz? How much credit do you put into this? The Mafagan representative had turned completely white, his tail hidden between his three legs, and the senator representative had soiled herself where she stood. He turned back to the human. Very funny, so who paid you to pull this prank? Are we on the media hub now? The humans looked confused at him, as Buttar walked closer to inspect them. Are you droids or holograms? Paid actors? He reached out to poke them as the humans looked between each other, confused, but trying to not make the situation worse. I assure you, we are real. We are the humans you have been in contact with. My name is Marissa Moobi Jackson, and my colleague is Marcus Smith. Butta was poking Marissa as she spoke, and it felt real. Her voice sounded real. This was not a joke. He jumped back as another panic attack set in. No! No, I don't understand. Marissa took a step forward as armed guards grabbed for their weapons. Marcus says something to her, and their helmets reappeared. She stopped and stood next to Marcus again. But you are there! Buttar looked at them. This could not be real. But the helmets helped him calm himself again. Now he was getting confused. Veer? The humans now covered with helmets somehow managed to project confusion through their mere body language. What's a Veer? Veer is a... A monster from our media. Do you have media? Stories made into holographic images that move. Normally it is used for entertainment. Most are not even holographic, just moving images. He hoped the translators were able to explain the idea he was trying to explain. Yes, we have movies. What does that have to do with Veer? You look like the scariest monster we have in media. 
There are movies, written stories and songs about the Vir and how dangerous they are. But they drink our blood and live forever. They can survive almost any damage and rip people apart. They are our monsters in the shadows. The male human, Marcus, started to laugh. It was a genuine and loud laugh. He laughed so hard he almost fell over. Marcus, behave. This is a diplomatic mission. The woman was clearly upset with him, but Marcus didn't stop. We are, he managed to say, between the fits of laughter. They're movie monsters. At this point, he was sitting on the ground, just laughing, and the helmet vanished, showing the man who clearly had a hard time holding the laughter back. We are so sorry. Buttar looked at the man, and he could not help but to start to laugh as well. This was ridiculous. Ridiculous.